Hello and welcome, my name is Dan and hopefully as you can notice already in that distance there is something new standing. Well, I'm happy to share that I've done some progress on the part of the future city and the part has been done to the district of Sievichen. This three new buildings. This video will be about how I build these three buildings as well as how I started to lay out the plan for the uh, not all of Sievichen yet. I have quite big plans on what's going to be on the water uh, but uh, this time I focus on the planning for the own land part of the town. Um, yes, I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any feedback, let me know. Following is the terraforming progress uh, for Civic. There's the hill that I'm slowly destroying, as well as I'm starting to build the layout uh, for the um, river that will run behind the Civic, which separates the fortress. As well, I'll fly under the future wall showing how the river also flows under that wall. So this is how the river looks like now. I made it look very rocky and try to make um, to give it a look as if this river is very strong and it's been carving this cliff. That's what gives it such a um, shape and most of the force of the river comes on this side rather again forming this shape whereas this one remains more like a normal cliff I used stone and andesite and decide just a bit to break down the color of the stone because yeah otherwise it will be too bland too boring and so far I'm happy happy with the progress I like how it looks like the only thing the only problem for me is this part where the water became still I tried to fix it and I don't know it just stays unfortunately but I can deal with it the rest looks fine the water flows the way I would want it to flow because there were first few times when I poured the water it just didn't look good it didn't look don't specifically go for fully natural look but again it looked too unnatural too unbelievable and yeah I didn't like it as well since um, I have this uh, fort outline developed um, I decided as well to uh, frame out the buildings that I want to um, uh, build inside of the fort later and I put the signs what they what these buildings will be for but one here is uh, prison with an underground section so it will be a small building attached to this tower but the majority of the prison will be down there and I want one of the cells as well kind of coming out like the window to be somewhere here so let's see as well how it will turn out I have destroyed more of the hill around in the area and I wanted to create this kind of gap and the gap is surrounded by smaller hills that one will have some housing and the other one as well will have other houses and they will gradually go down to the center so this gap will be a historical city center. So I also have done some progress on the left hill of the Sievik historical city center. I built the um, ground on the top and built a bit of the layout of how the future cliff will look like. Here's some more progress on the left hill and that's how it looks like now fully finished. Uh, as well I added the pathway down to the uh, city and I tried to make it look quite sturdy and um, rocky have some 
boulders sticking out on the side and make it look atmospheric. Continuing from the left hill, I uh, made this line of how the terrain will go and of this line I will build the continuation of the cliffside. Right side done um, of the Sevik district. I basically the, use the same technique as here. The only part that is not done is the cliff face. I just finished the mm, the grass part. So you could see how the terrain slowly goes down. I wanted to make it less plateau like like here and more slowly going down and it still kind of curves and then goes into the town. The terraforming for the Sevix uh, land part is done. Um, I can't wait to plan out where different buildings will go, uh, think of the streets and etc. And finally start building for it. Here how all the cliffs look like and here is the beautiful river that I built earlier. So while this time lapse play, let's talk more about on Civicers and these people inherit a rich uh, maritime heritage, their lives aligned with ebb and flow of the tides. They are skilled fishermen, shipbuilders and sailors drawing sustenance and prosperity from the sea. Their connection to the water is not just practical but also spiritual with the traditions and beliefs rooted in the reverence for the sea and the natural world. The Sivakers are a tight-knit community valuing cooperation, tradition and the preservation of their cultural identity. Their social structure is egalitarian, with a strong emphasis on communal decision-making and mutual support. Celebrations, rituals and storytelling are central to their cultural life and often reflecting their maritime lore and the cycle of nature. At the heart of Civic's spiritual life is the Druid, a figure who embodies the community's connection to their beliefs and traditions. The Druid plays a crucial role in guiding the Civicers, conducting ceremonies and maintaining the balance with the natural world. And the layout for a big structure is the Druid's house. Finally, I'm getting to build a first building in my city, and it's a house of a smith as well, where he has his smithery and creates all kinds of armor for his people. And uh, this is the picture that I used as a reference. I prompted through Dali, and um, I really liked it. It fitted uh, the vision that I have for Civicers. Here is the finished smithery as well as the house uh, of the smith. I decided not to do the time lapse for the interior because uh, it's just difficult to place the camera inside of the building to um, capture how I would build the interior. So I'd rather just show it like this. I'm not sure whether I really want to add the door. I quite like... Um, how spacious it is right now without any doors, without any barriers. It looks quite interesting, I'd say. I didn't do the uh, pathway yet. That's the next thing I'll do after this building. But let's just have a look at the interior. I place different armor stands with armor on it and with different swords. Again, I was thinking that Sievik people are not so advanced as uh, people of Elderreich. That's why their armor and their weapons would not be uh, to such great quality. So here you see stone uh, swords. In Minecraft there are stone swords. In my uh, imagination there are still iron or steel swords but just of lesser quality. But you also have uh, some better um, swords which will be also used by Elderike. Maybe Elderike will also... I will give them the uh, netherite armor just to show the superiority, I guess. So, 
I also try to put emphasis in the armor itself. Right here you could see, so to say, a normal Sievikers army uh, um, armor. Here is the like chain chainmail and leather helmet, so as pants and boots. And this one is more of a top tier armor that only the richest of Sievikers can obtain. As you can see, it has a full um, iron iron body armor with this specific symbol on it. It was the first time I, I used this um, Minecraft template. I believe it's quite a new thing. It was interesting to play around with them. There's um, a lot of them, so... And I decided to give uh, this specific symbol to Sievikers. The thing is, what I really want to do is maybe install some mods or... Uh, I'm not sure how to call them. Uh, the other things besides mods. For example, I want to remove the the frames. I want swords to be just hanging on the wall. That would be more immersive, more realistic. As well as, it would be nice to create your own template. Maybe it is already possible in vanilla. If it is, I, I'll Google. If it's not, then I will Google again what kind of mods can I download in order to have... Um, customized templates for the armor because then I could really go into full detail exploring how uh, different nations and people would look like and what their clothing would look like. Nevertheless, here is the working station of the smith. I'm quite happy how it turned out. I tried to put as much stuff uh, as possible and I don't know, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks great. Here is a, a letter to a storage related to work, so you could see different uh, ores, uh, there is a lot of barrels, a lot of um, jars or pots, not sure how to call these things. Looks great, looks nice. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So all the ground floor, including this little um, uh, section, is all work related. And then when we go up, that's his sleeping quarters so to say well, he has bookshelves uh, bed this uh, lush plant that is consistently growing looks nice a little table I really decided to make here and a balcony so far the balcony is uh, pretty empty but as well to be honest it's only one block wide so you wouldn't be able to put a lot of things here so that's how it looks like. I was thinking maybe as well to incorporate pots uh, with plants outside of the balcony, but as well I'll show you later, I don't know how to really incorporate that. And right here again, his personal storage with like any other stuff that he could have. And the big window that you see outside of the building. That's how it looks like. I, w I can't say I'm very happy with the roof. The thing is, I really want to use hay as a block for um, quite a few buildings in Sievik. It's just, in Minecraft itself, uh, the hay block looks absolutely ugly. I don't like the color of it. Maybe that's why I'm saying I want to download uh, mods or I think data packs. In order to change color of some blocks, another block that I really would want to get, it's rather a slab, a, a grass slab, that would be one of the best contributions uh, in terms of how you can uh, make paths and all. That's why I didn't even start thinking on how this path will look like. But uh, yeah, and I added this chimney. So that's how it looks like go around as you can see in the roof itself I decided to incorporate some other blocks just to break down the color of the hay block but it still all stays yellow when you look from far looks fine I like it and in terms of what I said earlier of pots yeah I don't know where I would put the plants if I would incorporate that aspect into the building design I'm starting up to build this uh, building that I didn't really like how it turned out. Um, as you can see, it's a bit tilted 
and as well I wanted to give it a tower to kind of give it a maritime look as well in a way um, I gave Dali a prompt and it generated this picture of which I tried to replicate the building not entirely I really like this image and I would have loved if I was able to replicate the style and atmosphere it's going for but so far that's what I got maybe I'll build a bit more get practice get the full feel of what um, the civic style is and then maybe come back to this building and rework it and now coming to a building that uh, I much prefer uh, the backstory that I gave it is that the person who lives in it uh, works uh, down the road uh, one of the uh, two buildings that I planned are a herbalist and a healer and he is one of them so uh, the, the house down in town is more of a shop and this one is his personal property when I was building Herbalist's house uh, I based it off this uh, picture that as well I generated through Dali and I, Dali gave me a lot of inspiration in terms of the Savic style but having it um, sketch like or realistic like presented it's difficult sometimes to copy it into Minecraft scale and I tried as well to prompt with a Minecraft style but obviously uh, Dali isn't that perfect so it's not exact Minecraft scale. I added a lot of herbal features to the house to relate to the owner of it and uh, actually it brought a lot of benefits to how the house looks right now. I've completed building these two houses and I must say I'm 50% happy because honestly looking at this one I just don't know how to feel about it. It looks slightly off but I really would want to have a tower. I think um, the way I want to portray Savic is that at times people build on top and on top of their houses just to extend it up in a way I would want it to make it seem like in their culture it's perceived as something wealthy whereas for Alderaic people it's a bit weird and I mean maybe that's why for my eye it's weird but yeah this house I don't know maybe I'll change the roof here yeah I'll rework on it later on I'll leave it here for now, I like how this street is sort of complete, but this house, oh, I really like it, honestly, I have to share that with you, I really, really like it, I use simple techniques such as filling up empty space with leaves, but I don't know, it just works, it just works, and I created these planks as if they're holding everything up, like, I think it turned out well. This side is a bit bland, but it happens. The final thing to say, I also built this bridge that will be going into Sievichen district. That's how it goes. And uh, I built, uh, I mean, more like terraformed a bit for the river that will be running later on through here. That's why there is a uh, bridge from the start I wanted to create quite interesting entrance to the um, district with a river and a bridge running over it and above the bridge there will be the gate to the district and as well uh, in the future coming up here will be this fort so as we walk into the city the sun of Eldur blesses us the light of Eldur, symbolizing the presence of Elderaik in the region, obviously. And we enter to Sievichen, or formerly known Sievik. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, at the moment there is nothing to look at except for the abandoned village, but at least this side of this beautiful district is finished with a nice smithery and 
this ugly building and this a nicer building which I would wanna live in as well I think I did not show the interior yet of it that's how it looks like quite simple I also try to give it a bit of a darker atmosphere because I I don't think everything in medieval times was lit up nicely and that's the sleeping quarters and here is the final floor with the storage and very simple I don't think I need to add anything else here as well here is a beautiful balcony and I plan to give a lot of buildings and civic balconies I feel like as well it would be part of their tradition they thought that they have a lot of space so they can expand their buildings adding uh, nice little touches to them which they would enjoy that's what I tried here I thought the person who would live here would enjoy this and it looks a bit weird but nevertheless that's the progress that has been done as well as the terraforming that has been done to this whole face I will continue with the terrain when I'll get to that district but that will be all in the future currently my plans are fully for Siavik I wanna finish the farm can't wait uh, to see how this farm will turn out I feel like it's located at such a nice place I already thinking of building it differently than I laid it out but we see as well as the center of Siavik it will not look exactly the way I planned it out as you could also see in the time lapse I rebuild this building that's the progress so far I can't wait to finish it to move on to here I think I will build first the farm and then I move to the center and if I get bored with the center I will start planning out how I see this section and that will be seen only in the future. Bye bye.